I think you have to have sex with mom quietly. Out of respect yeah. for the kids where you're yeah. not you're, you're not No screaming, dad. yeah, you like that, don't you, bitch? <laughs> there are many topics and concepts we are all familiar with, but aren't exactly sure how they work. Each week, Alan Fitzgerald and I choose a topic and try our best to explain it. This is Explaining Things. All right, welcome back to another episode of Explaining Things. As always, I'm your host, Jonathan Tills, with my co-host, Alan Fitzgerald. hi Silver. <laughs> Alan, uh... Sorry, go ahead. Um, Are we redoing that? <laughs> no. <laughs> you get to live with that. <laughs> How should someone be the best stepdad? Oh. How minding are... your business? <laughs> Listen, son, I just I just want to fuck your mom. <laughs> if you let that happen, I'll give you money. I didn't know you were part of the deal. <laughs> I mean, you, you got to be nice to the kid. I mean, yeah. 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 I'll try to avoid beating him. I guess. Yeah. yeah, yeah no molestation. Okay. No, All right. No I'm... beating him. <laughs> You're tough but fair. <laughs> I feel like a calling card of the stepdad that everyone hates. It's loud fights with mom. Also, Milwaukee's best. There's a lot of Milwaukee's best <laughs> going on. <laughs> That's right. How to be the best stepdad? <laughs> I'm an, I'm actually an expert in Milwaukee's best. I'm in the Guinness Book of World <laughs> Records for most Milwaukee's best drinking without a domestic abuse charge. <laughs> That's right. Look up the Guinness book, Seven. everyone. Seven. <laughs> and they said that couldn't be done. Yeah. That was the four minute mile. He shouldn't be the kid's best friend. <laughs> no, he shouldn't hey, be. Hey, do you need me to buy any beer or porno for you? Yeah, love sports. Love sports? Yeah, he'll throw a football with you. He will. For a little bit. A mm -hmm. couple Budweiser's in him. Uh, hopefully it's not too many. Let's go throw the football, oh, huh? Man. Ah, no, honey, sh shut up. We're it's, gonna, it's Thanksgiving. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna play. We're just gonna play fucking football. Cut to kids screaming, broken collarbone. Yeah. I, 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 I fucking Kids hate. are just soft these days. That oat milk made them gay. They have done studies showing that oat milk makes you kind of gay. It's not like penis in the mouth gay, but you know, <laughs> it's like Rome wasn't built in a day. If, if a kid is tough uh, and independent, that's making the stepdad's life a lot easier because he doesn't have to be like, this kid's a pussy. You fucking coddle him too much. You coddle him too much. You gotta suck him in the kisser and let him know how life is. It hits you, it hits you hard. It hits you hard. It hits you real hard. It hit me hard. Yeah, I, I had, had a business. I had a stepdad once. Now that I look back on it, sure I got cigarette scars on the back of my goddamn neck, but, but it toughened me up. But at least I'm a man. I don't even smoke, but grab me those cigs. <laughs> <laughs> Googling it. How many cigarette burns until my stepson doesn't like Magic the Gathering anymore? <laughs> also, is like, is the kid's real dad there? If he likes the real dad, obviously that, that's going to make it tougher. But if the, if dad just left for milk one day, like so many dads used to. Mm-hmm. And still do. But they say they're going for something else now. Yeah. Milk's out. <laughs> I'm going to go find a... Uh, I'm going to get a vape cartridge. I'll be right back. I'm going to go find a better life, honey. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> want me to get you anything? Yeah. That's when you know you're true scum. Wait, when you throw out the want me to get you anything <laughs> before you leave forever. <laughs> yeah. Now she's lost a husband <laughs> and she was expecting butter. Like that is Don't make promises you can't keep. Yeah, send him a hundred bucks every month somehow yeah, that's in an right. envelope. That's right. In an envelope that with no return address. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or even worse, like the kid's four when you leave, so you keep sending him Sesame Street cards. Uh, forever. <laughs> that's when the stepdad, the stepdad has a, he has a long leash mm -hmm. when that's what dad is. If the kid's real dad is in his life though, you gotta be careful. You can't be like, be like hey look, I'm not your dad. Hey buddy. I'm kind of like... I'm not your dad, not trying to be your dad. I'm more of an uncle who fucks your mom. Yeah. <laughs> okay, like... I'll take you to a couple of ball games. Also, a stepdad's different. If it's like three or two years old on, then that's almost your dad. True. If it's 12 on, you ain't my dad. I don't have to listen to you. You're right. You're not my father. Yeah, I don't have to love you. How's that sound, you little <laughs> fucking piece of shit? <laughs> exactly. Fuck you. Yeah. How do you like dinner? Hey, whatever new band that you like sucks. How about that? <laughs> it does suck. <laughs> they suck. Also, where's your phone? Smash. What are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you haven't even heard of the Strokes, have you? What do you, you? do? Uh, I know it's in the cloud. <laughs> I know what the cloud is. Okay. <laughs> I, I know what TikTok is. I know what all the gay little bullshit you do is. That's right. I'm just cooler than it, so yeah, I don't yeah. need it. That's why I demean you in front of your friends when they come over. <laughs> yeah. 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 All two of them. Including the one who just uses you for your toys. <laughs> the other one's autistic as fuck, by the way. 
Yeah. Uh, I said autistic, yeah. honey. Yeah, I, I said autistic. That's a scientific term for retards. <laughs> <laughs> now stop yelling. You're going to fuck up your kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Maybe, just maybe, he can get a friend who can teach him what football is. Your son's a sissy. You know that. Yeah. Right, right in front of him. <laughs> He's wearing a bath towel like a cape. Yeah. <laughs> I want to bully him. Where's the sympathy for the bullies at school? Uh-huh. How, how are they not supposed to bully that? They got to bully something, honey. He wears a beret. <laughs> he goes to drama class. He's got right. What, are you going to become an actor? I've got a role for you. Act like a man. Yeah, you there we go. can't do that, huh? Martin Scorsese presents Don't Be a Pussy. That's the movie I'm going to put <laughs> you in. And then two gunshots to the chest. <laughs> <laughs> And the stepson becomes a man that day. <laughs> That's how a stepson becomes a man. He's at least tried as a man. That's He's tried right. as an adult. A stepdad is very different if he has kids of his own. Yeah, then he kind of knows the deal. Then it's kind of a fucking, like, it's an actual formed human. But, like, stepdad who doesn't have kids, who's fucking the mom with kids, that's a guy where I feel like life most likely isn't going to plan. No. You know? Because ideally you'd like a woman without a kid. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but that's just the reality. Don't send us emails with your with your tears, by the way, ladies. All right. <laughs> a child is a complication. Yes, yeah, I'll give a complication. you the, the most poisonous term you that's a, on the dating apps is "have and want more." Not only do I have a yeah. kid with a guy I didn't work out with, but I want more kids with you. Yeah, I just wanted to fuck. <laughs> Think of the child. You already have a kid. Obviously, if we have one together, I'm gonna love him more. I don't want to be mean <laughs> to your fucking stepkid. I mean. Fucking Bobby's gonna mean nothing to me if He's I make a real kid. Gonna mean nothing to me. Notice we don't ever talk about Bobby's race. <laughs> <laughs> I don't bring it up. <laughs> Honestly, you should be happy I don't bring it up because I've got thoughts. Yeah, I've got opinions. I've got opinions. Old on this school matter. opinions. Okay? Old school. I'm a red-blooded American. <laughs> all right, and I won't apologize for it. It's tough to be a good stepdad. It is. It is because you're never gonna love the kid as your own. It really takes a fucking awesome person. I think you. Some people do. I think you grow an attachment. I, I think. I it, mean, it's probably not as much as you know your own your own fucking DNA. Well, I think if you don't, there's something kind of wrong with you too. If you're just like, well, the kid's fine, whatever. I'm mostly just like fucking his mom. Well, oh, how long have you been uh, seeing his mom? Ten years. What you the problem is, and I'm gonna stick up for the step stepdad out there, even though there are a lot of scum. For the ones. emotionally dead step. The the, pr the, pro the problem is many times. These children of divorce, depending on the age that it happened at, many of them act out. They're they're tough kids. They get in trouble with booze, drugs, you know, whatever it is. That makes it tougher for the stepdad to actually like have unconditional love for the stepchild. Once the kid steals from the stepdad, it's on. And the step relationship is where it's supposed to be. No trust. Wow, we're ending on a real sour note here. <laughs> In my perfect world, I there's just really, no trust between the stepdad and the stepchild. I really tried to make this a nice video by going, hey, I think the real bond grows. You're like, no. No, 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 no. I won't allow In it. my perfect step world, uh, the stepdad sleeps with his wallet and his pillowcase. <laughs> I, can't, I got nothing else to add. There's always something to add, Alan. All right, then have there's, at it. I'll see you fuckers later. No, no, you can't leave. You can't leave. Bang. No, sit back down. <laughs> So what I'm trying to say is there's a good way to be, there's a way to be a good stepdad, there's a way to be a realistic stepdad. I think we just told you both. Um, I think Alan's a good stepdad. I think, I like to think I'd be a very realistic stepdad. Conditional love for my boy. Con highly conditional. Oh my God, look, I just called him my boy. Like, mm -hmm. the relationship's better than I thought it was. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, guys, thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you next Tuesday. Bye, guys.